I'm feeling the hoodie again. I'm feeling the hoodie, man. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, feel, I'm feeling the hoodie on the streams. I don't know if it's because I feel like Becker <laughs> or something like that. But uh, what's going on, guys? Happy, what is it? What's today? Thursday? Happy Thursday. I got the I got the tea in the Patriots mug. Uh, let's freaking go. It's some sleepy time tea. It's like some mint tea. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I, I recommend it. You horse guys out there, stick to the hay. But uh, for me, I like this little sleepy time tea. It's pretty good. I got to get it. I got to get it. Uh, Keith Mullins. Yo, what's up, man? Uh, Chewy, horse guy TA. <laughs> I think you can see the ascending triangle yourself on there. Uh, Jam, uh, what do we got? Dataware, DJ TaylorMade, Caleb, Mike Dawson, TDM, Dominic. What's up, fellas? What's up? All right. Um, guys, not, not, not too much happening today. Um, some altcoins up, some altcoins down. Um, not too much of a, of a crazy day today. Uh, basically, the altcoins that pumped yesterday pulled back today. The old coin that didn't pump yesterday, pumped today. <laughs> that was pretty much what today was. So um, still just kind of waiting and, and, and letting Bitcoin kind of consolidate under previous all-time highs. Once again, it might take us a little bit to break through and that's okay, right? Don't, as we, as we, as we stressed yesterday, do not be turning into a bear because we're consolidating under resistance. We've done it at every single resistance. Just chill out, do some Klamosa. It's going to be okay. Okay. Um, but I hope everyone's having a fantastic, fantastic day. Boss's hair got bonked. Dude, my hair probably looks pitiful right now. You guys want to see it? Honestly, I was wearing a hat. Now I'm not wearing a hat. Now I'm wearing a hood. Let's see. Let's look at it. <laughs> it looks horrible. So, yeah, we're, we're, we're going to keep the hood on here. We're going to keep the hood on. Uh, let's see. Jonathan Ayers, what's up? Mike Dawson. Mike Dawson smoking weed. Uh, good stuff, man. All right, let, let's let's talk. Let's talk. Let's talk. So, not too much today, guys. Um, it's just it's just good times to just be sitting on your hands, man. I mean, um, just continuing to see all coin gains, and I think that's going to continue. And I think <laughs> I don't. Even, I think we're in like the second or third inning for the all coin gains, guys. I think we got a long way to go. Um, as we've been speaking on the channel, is is the real fun doesn't even start until Bitcoin gets through those all time highs. Uh, that's when the real euphoria starts. That's when uh, you know. Uh, Vitalik starts coming on Twitter and trolling the trolls and, 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 you know, uh, Hoffs, or not Hoffs, Hoskinson, uh, comes out and starts trolling the Cardano, Cardano, uh, haters. That's when the fun really starts. Okay. That's when Elon Musk starts coming out, shilling Doge probably again. Um, that's when like the real mania phase starts is when Bitcoin gets through those all time highs. But even though Bitcoin hasn't broken through those all time highs yet, you're still seeing altcoins make new highs, right? We've seen all the big altcoins for the most part make new all time, well, not new, high, no all time highs, but new local highs, um, despite the fact that Bitcoin hasn't here, right? So we're seeing some good stuff in the altcoin market um, as seen by total three. And this is nothing a surprise. Like, this is not a surprise. This is what we've been talking about. And, and phase E has uh, really, really taken shape here. Uh, phase E has really, really come out the woodwork. And everyone who is doubting phase E for the Wyckoff accumulation schematic is now crying in their tomb. As we said, guys, you're probably not going to get another chance to buy the altcoins lower. You're probably not going to get another chance below this box right here. And I still think that's true. I don't think you're going to get another chance below by this box. I think we're gone. And if you want to accumulate altcoins, you're going to do it at much, much higher prices, in my personal opinion as that has held true throughout this period. So um, really all it is, is 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 chilling out, right? So what we're doing now and and and, and what we need to talk about today, and because I'm, I'm starting to see a lot of it, guys, and, and I'm going to be very, very serious today because I, I don't want to see you guys make, a, make mistakes. I don't want to see you guys make mistakes that I've done in previous cycles. I want you guys to learn from my experiences uh, what I've done before and what many people have done before. Many people who are in this chat have done this before at some, whether it's 2017 or 2021 or this next upcoming cycle that's coming. Um, everyone's first cycle, you make this one mistake, okay? And you can kill the accumulation period. You can absolutely be accumulating altcoins like crazy at the lows, which I know a lot of you guys have been, we're scooping up altcoins scooping up Bitcoin, DCA, DCA, DCA. A lot of you guys killed that part of the market, right? When no one was interested in crypto, when your grandma was making fun of you for being in crypto, uh, when my grandma was saying Bitcoin was Satan, okay? <laughs> you guys were all buying Bitcoin and buying altcoins. You guys destroyed that part of the market. But the one mistake people make 
is every time the market gets hot and every time the market gets cruising up and you just, everyone thinks it's gonna go up forever, right? You're going into a super cycle. It was the same thing in 2021, right? As soon as we get, get up to 69K, right? We got the dip, like trying to crash, then we came up again. Everyone thought super cycle. We're going to 200, 300, 500K, some ridiculous prices. I'm starting to see that, uh, hear that same stuff now. Um, and I want you guys to, to remember your exit strategy you had before the pumps, right? Three months ago, because three months ago, no one thought Bitcoin was going to move up this fast. Everyone thought all time highs were going to come later this year, like, <laughs> like Q4 of this year. Okay. And now all of a sudden the targets are ridiculously high. Okay. And that's what happens when prices go up, right? Everyone raises their targets higher. Stay grounded. Remember your exit plan that you had before Bitcoin started this move, right? When Bitcoin was in, like in the 30Ks, what were you thinking then? That should be the same way you're thinking now, okay? Um, remember your exit plan. We have, we're gonna, we're gonna go over our top signals, obviously every day on this channel, and, and I'm gonna update you guys on what I think and stuff like that, but stick to your own exit plan, right? If your altcoin's up 50% in a day, maybe take a little bit off. If your altcoin's up 5X in a month, like some of them have been, um, take a little bit off, <laughs> okay? Um, remember your exit plans, okay? Uh, S Walker, what's up, man? Uh, Danny, what's up, man? Crypto Voyeur, what's up, bro? Dan, <laughs> what's up, my man? Okay, okay, let, let, let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. Okay, so I think we're, what we're doing now, and this is what we talked about, okay, is um, whenever Bitcoin has hit all time highs, you've gotten this little stall out, okay, and we saw this back in 2020. And what this stall out is, okay, um, we saw this stall out back here in 2020, okay? Uh, November of 2020, Bitcoin came up and hit all-time highs, okay? Right here, back in November of 2020, right? We came up from the lows, COVID pandemic, right? We came up, you started to get some optimism in the market. Bitcoin hit all-time highs. What happened here is the same thing that's happening right now, I think, is this is when smart money, okay, and you, you've kind of seen it in the wallets. You've seen a lot of the whales start dumping their Bitcoin, right? Smart money starts shifting their Bitcoin into the altcoin market, right? Into ETH, stuff that hasn't moved yet. And I think you're starting to see that now. As See this one, two, three week period back here in 2020? It was the shift from Bitcoin's going to be the best gainer to the altcoins are going to be the best gainers, okay? And I think that's what you're going to see here. And that's what I think what you're seeing. I think... It might take us a few weeks to get through all-time highs. <laughs> Knock on wood, because <laughs> Bitcoin's been moving up way faster than it has in every single cycle. So it could just break through in one in one in one freaking week. I don't freaking know. Um, I, don't, I don't have a crystal ball. But what I do have is the previous cycles to go off of. And I think what we're seeing here is uh, people who rode Bitcoin from you know twenty k and below, right, twenty five k and below. Um, I think are. Starting to think like all the cycles, right? They're starting to think like all the cycles. And then, and I think you're seeing out in the on-chain that they're shifting their Bitcoin into alts, okay? Which I actually agree with personally. So um, I think that's what you're seeing. And we saw it here in 2020. And then once Bitcoin broke all-time highs, okay? Bitcoin did about a 3x last cycle, right? From about 20, about 20K to 65K, okay? It did about a 3x. But altcoins in that period... Altcoins pulled 20, 30, 40, 50 X's from the time Bitcoin broke all time highs until it hit its high. Bitcoin did a 3X, altcoins went up ridiculous amounts. And I think you're going to see that again here. Okay. Altcoins have started to come up. I think we're in the early stages of the altcoin uh, market though. Okay. So we saw it there. We also saw it here in 2017, right? Bitcoin led the way in 2017, right? We hit a little peak at the previous all time high. And then you saw a shift. And then 2017 was, I mean, 2017, to be fair, Bitcoin went up nuts too because Bitcoin was still a low market cap coin. But all coins outperformed Bitcoin from that point, right? So um, that's what I think is happening now. And we're, 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 we're kind of seeing, I think, the shifts from Bitcoin into ETH and the altcoins, okay? And you can see it on the ETH chart, right? ETH going pretty much vertical uh, straight up to the moon. Um, and I think that's what you're seeing. So... Once again, consolidation under all-time highs, I think, is bullish and is allowing people to take profits on Bitcoin and go stick it into the altcoin market um, before when the real fun happens is when Bitcoin gets through those all-time highs, okay? 
Um, so that's all I think is happening right now. I think we just need to chill out, have some patience, let it play out, and um, kind of go from there. Right? That's it. Uh, Anderson, what's up, man? Mm. Anderson's late. Shit, man. Let's see. Callum said, but was Jordan correct last cycle? Well, you got to learn from the previous cycle, man. Learn from the previous cycles. Right? I've come a long way from the previous cycles. Okay? Long, 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 long way. Okay? Learn from the cycles that you've been through. Okay? You got to learn. If you don't learn, then who are you? Right? Who are you if you didn't learn from the previous cycles? That's all you need to do. Okay? Um, all right. So that's what we got. So... Uh, what we need to focus on, and I think what you're gonna hear, and I think this 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 is gonna this is gonna be the the big thing is you're you're gonna hear guys is <laughs> you're gonna hear from people who are emotional. Okay, I'm trying to go at this as the most unemotional way I can. If my emotions tell me what I want, I would love if Bitcoin went to a million five hundred thousand to a million dollars, guys. My emotions want that. I would love if Bitcoin went to a $500 million, okay? I, I, I Honestly, I would love that. But I, I think that's going to be late. People who got in late wanting that price because they didn't make the gains yet, okay? They weren't buying down here, right? They maybe started buying now or they were buying at 50K, 60K. So they're not going to get the gains they want unless they get those ridiculous price targets. But people who were buying at 20K, right? 18k 19k even 25k are going to be happy with the with the gains that we've already gotten so we're not going to feel emotional and need the 300 400 500k price targets like you're going to hear from the uber moon boys people like to call me a moon boy i'm really not okay i just know when to be bullish okay i'm not a moon boy <laughs> trust me <laughs> you guys will hate me at one point like i said so um I think what we're you're gonna start here in super cycles, ridiculous shit. Um, the higher we go, okay. And once again, what we need to focus on, we went through the accumulation phase. We went through Jordan. Well, what all coins are we buying? You know, should we be bullish? Uh, all this shit, okay. We went we went through the accumulation phase. You should be done accumulating, <laughs> okay. We went through. You had two and a half years to buy shit, okay. I, I'm just I'm, I'm gonna lay it out how it is, okay. We went through the entire wike off accumulation phase, okay? Literally the entire wike off. This is the point where you should have been buying stuff. You either should have been buying like buying Bitcoin in the early stages and then buying altcoins maybe on the spring, even on the spring phase, and then buying altcoins in the SOS phase when we were screaming last chance to accumulate altcoins, last chance to accumulate altcoins. This is when you should have been accumulating stuff, okay? Now we need to focus on, okay, and this is not going to be popular. And I told you guys, you guys aren't going to like me the higher we go, okay? Because I'm not going to go out this market super emotional like I did last cycle, okay? I'm going to learn from what I did, all right? We went through the white off accumulation. We have entered phase E, okay? We were correct on phase E, all right? We were also correct on saying when Bitcoin breaks the golden pocket, we were going to hit all-time highs within three to ten weeks. We actually did it in a shorter time frame when most people call me delusional and a moon boy. Okay, so uh, we were correct on those two things. Now, what we need to do, and it's not going to be the fun thing to do because we all want to look at the all to look at our gains. Trust me, guys, I love my gains. <laughs> I love my gains, bro. <laughs> I want to look at FET every two seconds on my phone. Ask Maj, Maj, do I like looking at my phone? Yes. Okay, <laughs> I want to look at FET every two seconds. Okay, trust me. But what we need to do is not be emotional. Okay, and we need to look. We need to pay attention to these things, guys, okay? Because the last thing I want to do, and I've made this mistake before. Most people won't admit this. I made this mistake where you think things are going to go up forever, and they don't, okay? So you need to learn from your past mistakes. What we need to focus on now is making the gains and then keeping the gains. Making the gains is the easy part. And an, an orangutan can make gains, but orangutan is not going to keep the gains because the orangutan is going to keep aping into the market at the highs, Okay? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the orangutan is basically horse guy, right? Jordan, I did not accumulate enough at the low. I am feeling super bullish. I think we go in the super cycle. I bought Bitcoin at, my average price on Bitcoin is 60K. 
So, in order for me to make gains, I need Bitcoin to go to 300k. That's why I say it'll go there. Not because I think it will, but I need it to go there to make gains. <laughs> right? Let's be real. Come on. Um, so, what we need to do is go and look at our top signals, right? And I... <laughs> I know Bath likes this. I, I know Bath loves what I'm talking about right now, okay? Because honestly, people people make fun of Bath, right? For for taking profits and, and and maybe being maybe being bearish at resistance sometimes. He's got the right mindset, man. If you don't take money out of this market, you gotta ride it back down. I'm not saying you have to do it right now, but I want to get you guys prepared and in the mindset of out of the noob. Get out of the noob mindset. They can, they can super cycle. Guys, we've been through... Bitcoin's had four cycles, bro. <laughs> They've all been the same. All right, so let's, let's take a look at Google Trends. All right. Sorry sorry to blind you. I, I don't want to blind you, okay? Um, let's do this. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Here's what we need to do. Okay. We need to take a look at uh, Google interest, okay? And, you, dude, you can see, <laughs> you can see that people are aping into alts right now, right? You can see that people are searching altcoins. Dude, altcoin interest is up to a 46. People are coming into this market fast, okay? Now, it's not it's not in a worrisome level yet, right? If we look at kind of... Uh, where we kind of are versus 2021, we're in like January 2021, which is basically the start of when altcoins started to moon. Okay, if we actually look at, so we're at 46. Um, in January 2021, we were at 41. If you actually look at where we were at on altcoins in January 2021, we were still all the way down here, right? So and it's actually funny kind of look at where we are. So January 2021, you can see we started to moon on all coins right here. Okay, this is where we started to absolutely go nuts. This is when the 20, 30, 40 X's started to come in for all coins. Okay, it was right here starting in about January of 2021. That's when Bitcoin was breaking its all time highs. Okay, you can see what we're doing now, right? You can see that all coins have started to moon, right? Same thing, right? And it happens to be when all coin Google interest is at 46. Very similar to where we were in January 2021, right? Now, what I think is interesting is, um, once again, the higher this goes, you can use this as more like a, this isn't really a top signal. This is more of like, when this is like up in like the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, maybe take a little profit. If you got an altcoin that's ripping to the upside, right? Take a little off. You don't need to take a lot. Maybe take like 1%, maybe take 3%, 4%, 5%. Whatever you feel comfortable with, all right? Keep enough to make to be happy that you if it continues up, but don't be afraid to take a little off the board. Um, this is this one. I'm not like, I'm not really worried about this one. Um, this one, it, the thing about the Google interest is when it comes to this is obviously crypto is going to get bigger, right? So you're going to have more people searching the terms, right? So if Bitcoin's market cap is bigger, that means more people are interested in Bitcoin, which means more people are searching Bitcoin, right? So it's not really that big of a deal. I think this is gonna go higher than last cycle. So it's not really that big of a deal at 46 because obviously more people are gonna be interested in crypto, prices are gonna go higher, right? Um, but just keep an eye on this. It's a good take profit level, okay? Um, the other one is, <laughs> this is my favorite one actually. This is my favorite one. Coinbase. Let's go check Coinbase. Coinbase. Where are we at? It's actually dropping. And I can tell you why it's dropping. Do you know why it's dropping? You guys know why Coinbase. And this is what I said. Sideways price action can make the Coinbase app go down. Okay? Why is that? Because noobs only want to download Coinbase when prices are going up, right? When they see Bitcoin flying up, they want to download Coinbase. Bitcoin's been going sideways for three days. So you can see Coinbase, correct. This got this actually got all the way up to number 40, okay? Number 40, right? That's when Bitcoin broke to 70K. 
it's all come all the way back to 118. So we're good on this. I'm not too worried about the Coinbase app. When this gets to number one historically, we get out of the market, okay? We don't think about it. We don't be emotional because we, we want it to go higher. We want more gains. Woo we want more gains. We all want more gains, okay? But when this gets to number one, if it gets to number one, we out of the market. Why? 2017 to hit number one, that was the top. 2021 to hit number one, that was the top. It stayed there for one week, both cycles. It stayed at the number one spot for one week. You had one week to get out, okay? <laughs> and that was it, okay? So uh, it's oh, down to 118. I think we're good on that. I'm not, I'm not too worried about this. And it makes sense. Bitcoin hasn't even broken all-time highs yet, okay? It makes sense. We're good. But I, I, we, want, we, need to, we need to pay attention to it, though. Um, and obviously, the Pi cycle top. We're nowhere close to crossing. So once again, not really worried about it. I don't, I'm not going to go too in-depth with the Pi cycle top cross. Everyone every day says, Drew, what's the Pi cycle top cross? It's two moving average. When they cross, Bitcoin tops every cycle. That's it. That's it. That's it. So we're not going to pay attention to that because, quite frankly... It's not even close to crossing. We got we got a long way to go. So um, I'm not really worried about a lot of top singles just yet. Um, but I know being in the space for so long that those top signals can go from not worried to very worried very, very quickly. Okay. So we got to keep an eye on it every day. Um, all right. That's that, fellas. That's that. Cheers. Cheers. Uh, let's pick a go. Let's keep making those gains, but make sure... What, what, what I, what I want to make sure you guys do, don't do, and I made this mistake before, man, is be bullish and have fun, but don't get irrational, okay? And I'm, I'm already seeing some of this. I'm already seeing some of the irrational come in, okay? The same people... And, 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 I'm not trying to be a dick when I say this, but you got to recognize emotions. The same people calling super cycle right here were the same people saying, where's the money coming from down here? Okay. Recognize emotions. Emotions are on the chart. Okay. The same people calling super cycle are the same people saying, Where, Johnny, where's the money going to come from? Down here. <laughs> that was one year ago. <laughs> you see how fast things can change? In six months, Bitcoin could be at 100K. And then a year later, it could be all the way back out at 20. <laughs> and then people will be saying, Johnny, where's the money going to come from? Again, right? That's that's crypto for you, right? It can change very, very fast. So just remember, don't get, be bullish and have fun, but don't get irrational. Don't get irrational, okay? <laughs> all right, we got through the serious part of the stream, okay? We, we got to do this every day, though. I'm serious. I'm serious, man. We got to do this every day, all right? I'm serious. All right. Ah. Now let's go look at some bullish charts because we're freaking bullish right now, boys. Shit, man. We're Stop. freaking bullish we're right now, boys. Um, let's do this. So uh, ETH, as we talked about, ETH should just, I, I think ETH is going straight to all-time highs. I don't think we're going to see a significant pullback on ETH into all-time highs. That's been the correct move. Once again, people call me a move boy. So as soon as ETH starts moving up, it's probably going to go straight to all-time highs. Why? Because... That's what it did last cycle. Once again, Moonboy thought has been correct. I honestly think ETH is going straight to 4,900. Um, it's going to have red days, right? It's going to have these little wick days right here, but I don't see any significant like multi-week pullback until it hits that 4,900 level at all-time highs. So that's that. Once again, don't go 100x leverage. You're probably going to get wicked out just like you did the other day. Um, but once again, I think ETH is going straight to 4,900. Um, and that, that's not, once again, that's not based off emotions. That's looking at the last cycle. Okay. <laughs> where big, where ETH went from here to here in a straight line. Why? Because it catches up to Bitcoin, which is, which usually already breaks all time highs by that point. Right. Um, all right. So that's that on ETH, pretty straightforward. I don't really see anything that's like, oh my God, look at ETH. Like you just keep it simple. Right. I mean, that's really it um altcoins dude i mean guys i mean it's just it's just great it, it, it's, it's a good time out there right now um <laughs> it's just a good time out there i mean <laughs> you look through the market and you know it's pretty much every alt making new local highs right vulcan forge made a new local high today optimism made a new, new local high today um injective started to move up again 43 
Um, Fett, new local high again. Uh, Near, obviously had a 50% day yesterday. A little bit of red day today. But, all, dude, almost everything. <laughs> like, almost everything. Making new local highs. Okay? Uh, even, I even, even EOS. Even EOS. Like we said, dude. During phase E, even EOS will pump. EOS was up like 20% today. Um, that, that, actually, I think it was up more. Where's EOS? Yeah, even EOS. During phase E gets the pump. As I said, orangutan can make money right now. Everything's going to pump. Even EOS. Even XRP. <laughs> shout, shout out to the XRP ears. Even XRP. But Jordan, when's the next ship run? That's all we want to know. When's the next meme run? I don't care if EOS and AVAX and Soul are pumping. I want to know when Ship and Doge are going to freaking pump. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Th th thank you, Bob. Bob, soon. Soon, man. L let, the old, let the meme coins cool off. They all just did like multiple Xs. Let them cool off, man. Let them cool off. Uh, and we buy the noobs. No, I'm, I'm not buying anymore. You can if you want to, though. Moon or two. Uh, <laughs> look at my old coin. Yeah, I don't want to do too much. Look at my old coin. Guys, I, I can tell you what your old coins are doing. Look at total three. I guarantee you, based off this total three chart, that 90% of alts have made new, new local highs. <laughs> All I have to do is look at total three, right? So, and I guess I'm guilty of this too, okay? I've just been in this market for a while and I... <laughs> But everyone does it, right? Everyone likes to go, but look at my old coin. <laughs> it's like, yes, I see your old coins up 5% today. 90% of them are up 5% today. <laughs> There's just so many old coins now, right? You can't look at all of them. Um, just know that I recognize your old coin is up, but I all, but recognize that the whole market is bullish, okay? Even EOS was up 20% today, like I said. So, um <laughs> I, all you need to do is look at total three. If total three is bullish, your altcoin's probably going to go up. Okay. Um, so total three looks absolutely unbelievable right now. So I think altcoins are just going to continue to freaking go nuts. Um, and honestly, people, once again, I, here's, the, here's the point where I've always said, for one year, you want to be George. I think we're in that one year you want to be George right now. Um, honestly, I think we're in this point for the altcoins. I think, I think we're in this point right here. Um, I think we're in this point right here, so, uh, <laughs> so <laughs> I, I just I just think they're gonna continue up. Um, obviously, like I said, they're gonna have red days. Okay, Bitcoin's gonna chop around probably below all time highs for maybe a couple days, uh, maybe even a couple weeks. Um, so I think the real the, the real fun doesn't start until Bitcoin breaks through there. But as you've seen, Bitcoin all coins have still performed well, even with Bitcoin rejecting right here. So that's that. I am still George. Dude, George is the best. Like I said, George will outperform 99% of people in here. Why? Why? Why, why? why is that the case? Why is that the case? Because he was simply in the game before everyone else. Yeah? He was simply in the game. Everyone wanted to troll George, but I guarantee you George has way better entries <laughs> than most people. <laughs> you know? It is what it is. Let's see. They cooled off. Anderson said cool off long and I'm nice. Wait, who, who said that? Um, oh shit, man. I'm trying to click on something. Scrolling up. Moon or Tomb. Shout out to you, man. Appreciate you, brother. Thanks for coming in. Uh, look at my old coin. <laughs> I love doing it too, man. Look at my. Mm. Yet another average podcast. Came in with five gifted memberships. You know what we need to do for that, man. Happy and clappy. Vitalik is impressed. Vitalik clapping, 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 clapping. Vitalik clapping, 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 clapping. And Prodigy became a member. Shout out to Prodigy. Thanks for coming in, man. Uh, Overcome said, are there any earth alts worth holding for years? No. 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 No altcoin 
do not hold any altcoin through a bear market. No, there's not one. You know how I know this? Just people will say this time is different. People always say this time is different. Look at every bear market. Has there been any altcoin that's gone up besides maybe one out of a million? <laughs> right? Maybe Chainlink in 2019 is the example, right? There's going to be one uh, that goes up, right? Um, but the chances are most of them are going to go down. I, I, I think if you're going to hold anything, I, I really only think Bitcoin and maybe ETH. Maybe ETH. Maybe Solana gets in that. I think Solana has a chance to maybe get in that top tier. Um, but it, 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 needs, it, needs, it needs some time. I, I, would, I really only would say Bitcoin, honestly. Even ETH. I, I would say I wouldn't want to hold ETH through uh, like long term. Um, I only think Bitcoin. Like I, I actually believe in Bitcoin, like what Bitcoin is and what Bitcoin does. Altcoins, I think most altcoins are memes. I think almost every altcoin is a meme coin in a way like because you, you know why i say this and this is not like to fud crypto it's just who uses crypto outside of crypto people no one at least yet so until that's a that's the case i think most altcoins are memes at this point bitcoin i believe in what bitcoin does though truly by my heart i believe what bitcoin is and what it stands for and what it does um switchblade how many alt seasons are usually there in a bull run bro how many alt seasons Basically, when Bitcoin breaks all-time highs, it's one big alt season. You get like a couple months of alt season historically, and that's it. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> it's usually just one. Usually, um, last cycle there was two, but last cycle was there was a weird little like fifty percent crash in the middle of it, which last cycle was a little weird. I think there was a little there was not to be like horse guy, but I think there was a little manipulation going on with SBF and FTX at the highs there. I'm happy to see Coinbase app drop to get 118 in the downloads. I hope we get pumps and sideways action for one and a half years. I don't think it's going to happen, man. I think we're going to top in 2020. Uh, I think we're going to top this year. I, I think I, if, if, if Bitcoin breaks all time highs within the next couple weeks, I just, I don't see this lasting for until 2025, right? The only way I could see it lasting until 2025 is if Bitcoin actually rejects right here. If Bitcoin rejects and gets a pullback to like in the 50Ks and stays there for a little bit and then maybe goes up later this year, that's like the only way I could see this lasting until 2025. If Bitcoin breaks all-time highs within the next few weeks, I, 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 I highly doubt this this is going to last until 2025. I, I just don't see how that's even reasonable and possible. Um, because the, the, the reason why I don't think it's going to last that long is because the problem is, is that crypto gets super frothy, super fast. So when Bitcoin breaks all time highs, you're going to have all people loading up on leverage on all coins. Um, you're going to have, you know, all the noobs buying Pepe, Doge, and the market gets super frothy. Okay. And the problem with that is, is that you get all the weak hands come in. So you might have strong hands. Let's say, let's like, let's say like this. All the way up to all-time highs, you might have strong hands on Bitcoin. This is actually probably people who believe in Bitcoin, people who believe in what Bitcoin is. But once Bitcoin breaks all-time highs, the people who are buying Bitcoin are people who are just want to make money. Like the, the people who they just want to ride it to a million dollars, right? So the problem is now you're stacking this with people who will sell on any little panic. So the problem is that you have is let, let's say Bitcoin does something like this, right? all these people okay as soon as these people that believe in bitcoin right say the whales that were buying at 15 20 25 as soon as they say i want to sell or i want to take some profits and the market starts coming back down all these people that are either on leverage or noobs will start selling off or getting liquidated and then just that starts a cascading effect um <laughs> you know what i mean that just starts a cascading effect you know, and, th and th that's the problem. And that, that, that really happens more so altcoins is you got people buying altcoins super, super low, ride the nut for a 20, 30, 40 X. People buying the top on leverage, they start the cascading. Once the people who buy 20, 30 X already made profits and they're taking profits. And then the noobs start the cascade down. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
th this is what it is. And that, that's why I don't believe in the super cycle because crypto is so frothy. People, people go YOLO longs, 100x leverage. Noobs fly into the space like crazy. I just don't see a sustained, like how crypto can sustain a bull market for like two years. I, I just don't, I don't see how that's possible at this point. You know, if Bitcoin was at 30K right now, I'd say probably, yeah, we go in 2025. But I, I just don't see how that's going to happen right now. I, I would love to be wrong. Trust me. I, I would. I would. I would, man. Uh, I don't want to be that big. <laughs> Jim Kennedy. Jim Kennedy's leaving. See you, bro. Hope everything's good, man. Um, but yeah. But yeah, guys. I, I, I... I <laughs> Let's go. Ooh, we got Pepe moving up again. Come on, Pepe. Let's get the Pepe. Let's get the Pepe. Look at my old goal. <laughs> no, but it, it's good times in the market right now, guys. Uh, once again, it, it's it's everyone's a genius season. Look at my old coin. Just know that everything's going up, right? This is the easy part. Um, if you're just getting into crypto now, remember, <laughs> this is. I think people who got in 2021 know this already. You know, like you don't need to be a genius in crypto for the for the new people who are coming in, because I, I bet like 20 percent of people watching right now probably got into the market in the last month. OK, let's be real. Put your hand in the chat if you got into the market in the last month. Bath, do not raise your hand and be a troll. <laughs> for the new people coming in, remember. I think you're going to make gains from this point, but remember two things I want you to remember. One you make gains from this point, you're not a genius until you sell, okay? That, I, I want that to be your biggest lesson. You're not a genius until you sell. Once you sell, you're a genius. But you're not a genius until you sell, okay? I bet mo a lot of you guys will ride the market up. A lot of you guys will ride the market up. Woohoo! We're going up, right? Woohoo! <laughs> you know? But the smart people, you're not smart until you're out of the market. Okay, just remember that. That, that, that that's that's uh, many years being in this market. Okay, you're not smart until you're out of the market. Number two, at some point for the for the new people, you are going to eat eat a 30 40 percent correction on your entire portfolio, and it's going to be the in the middle of the bull. At some point, Bitcoin will pull back 20 30 percent, and your altcoins will dump 40 to 50 percent, and you have to eat that. Do you know what that does to your soul? Picture this, okay? Just to give you an example, and this is gonna happen at some point, guys. Picture this. I'm just gonna do a hypothetical for you. Say, just I'm gonna do a hypothetical, right? Let's do something that's reasonable. Say you, let's do something. Let's say, okay, I'm, I'm gonna, let's say you, you put 2K into the market, okay? I'm just, I'm just going to do, uh, I think, you know, an amount that most people can can kind of conceptualize. 2K. Let's say you put $2,000 into the market. You might ride that up, okay, to 10K, right? You might ride that 2K to 10K. There's going to be a point, and, and honestly, like, it could be right here. Shit, Bitcoin could reject from the, from the high and pull back 20% right now. We just, we just don't know when it's going to happen, right? There's going to be a point where you're up like 5x and then you have to eat this going all the way back down to 5k, okay? There's going to be multiple times where you're going to have to eat that type of loss, especially if you're in low caps and meme coins. You're going to get fried so many times, okay? Most people, what they'll do is they'll, they'll, they're like, I'm out of the market. But remember, if you if most people dream of getting the 10, 20, 30, 40, 50x in crypto, you're not going to get that if you can't weather the storm of pullbacks, okay? Because what will happen is that 5K that you just ate a 50% loss, that'll shoot up to 50K, <laughs> right? And this is what's going to happen, right? In but the people who will ride that 2K to the 50K in between are going to have to ride this. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> and that's how it's going to work, right? So um, 
that's the two things, man. You're not a genius until you sell. And be ready for the the, the, the 40, 50 percent corrections. All right. Just to give you an example, you might not believe me. Because what happens, people look at the like at that Robin Hood chart and it just looks like it went straight up in 2021. I think the perfect example of this is Doge. And we, we looked at this, and I think this is a perfect conceptualize of what to expect. Okay, Doge. Once again, you might bring up your Robin Hood chart. <laughs> it's going straight. <laughs> it's going vertical, straight up, right? Easy mode. No, 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 no. And this is why anyone who, anyone who, and it wasn't me, but anyone who, who rid Doge from this point, even close to the highs, dude, they had to go through some, some emotional distress, okay? They had to go through some emotional distress to get to that point, okay? They had to ride this up, okay? So Doge here did a 6x off the lows, okay? Look at this. This doesn't look like a big pullback, right? It looks like, oh, whatever. That looks like a little bit of a bull flag, whatever, man. This bull flag was a 50% drop, <laughs> okay? 50% drop. But then look, people would have thought, okay, it's bearish, right? Boom! In one day, Doge goes up 14x, okay? And you think, okay, nice, nice, one up 14x. People FOMO'd. Doge then dropped from the top of that wick. Th think about this. In the middle of the bull, Doge dropped 79%. 79%. Imagine just riding a ripper and it going down 79%. Just for three days later to rip up again. <laughs> you know? And then again, you get a 57% drop. Just for it to rip up again. And then you get a 70% drop. Just for it to rip up again. You know, so everyone wants to talk about making these massive life changing gains in crypto. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to go through a lot of emotional distress. <laughs> and I'm just using a Doge as an example. Doge is an extreme example, but it's a really good example. Because when noobs come into the market, they think they're going to catch the next Doge. 99% of people, probably including me, would never have rode this from the lows to the highs because of all these drops, <laughs> including myself. Okay, so um, just know that there's going to be those points. Uh, <coughs> let's see. I already took off 20% of few alts. No mistakes this time. Nice, nice, nice G, Michael. I'm not going to hate on you for that. Um, JC, remember everyone else was a noob. Of course, don't make fun of noobs. We, 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 we try to help the noobs um, from, from being in the market for a while, right? We, that's all we can do. We try to help. And that's why I... I I want to, I don't want to be, you know, constantly like, oh my God, look at this, look at this, look at this, look at this. We're going to the moon all the time because <laughs> that's going to make people lose more money than it's going to help them, man. Um, so, but, you know, we got, got EOS, EOS is killing it, man. Shit, I guess we should have bought EOS. <laughs> EOS, EOS is killing it, man. Um, but yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a good time to be in the market, guys. We, 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 we can look through all our fun altcoins, but dude, they're all performing just just super, super well, man. It's it's a good time to be in the space. Um, and honestly, it, it, it's so vindicating to just all the haters, uh, the, 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 all the crypto haters, like Judge Judy um, at the lows, uh, making fun of crypto and uh, holding their gold for their 20% gain. Um, it, it's just vindicating, you know? I, I, think we got, I think we got a ways to go. Um, but all those haters that were hating on crypto 12 months ago um, are going to be the ones that buy our bags higher, okay? And, and, and it's the same thing every cycle, right? The haters will turn into believers. Uh, the, the believers will realize that the market's overheated and it's a constant change of hands, right? So uh, it, it's just vindicating, man. It, it, it's awesome, too, to see, you know, just use Fed, like to see stuff like this again. 12 months ago, it didn't seem possible, right? 12 months ago, it seemed the market was dead. And just to see stuff like this happen again and see stuff like this happen again and, uh, you know, see stuff like this happen again. And it, it, it's just nice, man. Um, stuff like this, um, 
just on you, you go through every altcoin it's going to happen to every altcoin um you best believe solana solana going from dead to almost back at all time like dude i mean it, it's just vindicating you see this type of stuff and, and and we can go look at this altcoin that altcoin this altcoin guys they're all gonna pump and that's why i'm, I'm not gonna fool you over here think like looking at individual alts they're all gonna damn pump um but yeah man soul shout out to solars Soul been in that new hot today. Soul, soul. Strap up. We We're about, going to the moon. Um, we talked about, I think, I think a couple days ago. I think it's you know time to maybe start getting um, interested back in soul again as everyone's kind of going into ETH. We, we, we got to get ahead of the ahead of the curve here. Uh, I think soul is going to get another huge run up here. Huge run up. Just like everything else. But yeah, it, it's just good. It, it, it's it's vindicating to go through all this and. And it's just, just, just be in the market at a good time. Even Matic, Matic making a new high. Matic the slug, back to 116, making a new high. It's good stuff to see, man. It's good stuff to see. Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a lot of fun, man. I, I, I'm just waiting for the day where Bitcoin really breaks through all time highs. That's gonna be fun as shit. That is gonna be fun as shit. That's what I'm, day I'm waiting for. Hmm. Who sold on Horse Guy AI? Ah, noob. Let him sell Hoffs. Those are people that are going to sell anyways. You know what I mean? It is what it is, man. It, it, it. You know it, you know what I look at it as, right? Even if I go look at it, okay? Let's go look at it real quick, right? Someone sold $366 of, of Horse Guy, okay? You know, I, I, I feel for those people, man. You know, the, 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 I, I feel for these people that sell in a, in a crypto bull market are selling a community coin that maybe they even probably got coins for free selling selling it for three hundred and sixty six dollars you know what that tells me you know that tells me you know that that person probably needed that three hundred and sixty six dollars okay they they, they they probably were a sideliner they probably aren't getting altcoin gains right now they probably didn't buy any crypto so they need that three hundred sixty six dollars which is kind of sad you know in a crypto bull market, you know, it, it, it's pretty sad, you know, like you're not making enough gains where you can't keep three hundred sixty-six dollars in horse gay AI. It's kind of sad, you know. <laughs> That's what that tells me. And to that person who sold three hundred sixty-six oh two, here's what I gotta say to you, man. I, I hope you have a nice steak dinner with that, and just know that. That three hundred sixty-six dollars ain't gonna change your life, okay? Just know that it's gonna get eaten by inflation and cash, okay? All right. <laughs> they were out of weed. <laughs> oh shit! For future audits of more selling, whoever it was, they're probably they're probably getting so mad right now because they know it's true deep down inside. They needed that three hundred sixty-six dollars. Don't talk about Franco like that. <laughs> oh, man, dude. All right. It's probably someone who got free tokens. Dude, people who are getting free tokens selling. They haven't bought any. You can't make this shit up, man. That's how greedy people are. All right. Um, let's see this. V-Sun said, moment of silence for the sideliners. During this silence... Uh, go back on the screen and hit that like button. Yes, the like button on YouTube is free. Fet 11x today. What is AOS? Is up 5x for me. Yeah, dude. Fet, Fet is insane, man. Um, I think it's gonna cool off. I, I, I think, I think it's almost at that point it's gonna cool off. So if you're full mode to Fet right now, I think you're, <laughs> you're, you're, you're doing the horse guy. Okay. I, 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 the reason why I think it's gonna cool off at least for a few days. Is we're almost we're like right at that one that two two six one eight fib. Uh, when we hit the one six one eight fib, we actually saw it. It, only, it was very short, but we actually saw a thirty five percent correction when we hit that one six one eight fib. So I think if if you're getting to FET now, I think you're doing it at a pretty bad time. Um, I think there's other AI. Like if you really want to get into AI coins, I think there's ones that 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 are at way better levels um, than FET right now. This is coming from some someone who has has uh, like just been amazement of fet from from down here okay so 
<laughs> I have every intention of shilling FET. I, I, honestly, I, I think if you're buying FET right here, you, 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 I think I think you, you're going to get a better entry on it at some point. In my in my personal opinion, like I said, this is coming from someone who's biased bullish on FET. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? ETC is moving up. Oh shit! Hasn't been moving up in a while, man. Um. Where's ETC? I mean, I mean, it's not like it moved down. It's still at the high, right? That's what's funny, man. Like, it's still doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's a little bit behind the fractal. It's a little bit behind it, but it's still doing what it's supposed to be doing, which is going up, right? So it, it's not like it's 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 done anything different than the fractal. It's it's still supposed to be going up at this point. So it's just a little bit. It's a little bit behind schedule, but it's still doing what it needs to do. Hoping, uh, waiting for it to get the sixty bucks. <laughs> Praying and hoping gets the sixty bucks. But yeah, EDC Fractal's doing good. Fat to five bucks at some point, yeah. I, I, I would say at some point, yeah. Um, at some point, but it, it probably pulls back first. <clears throat> My entry on Fat was thirty-four cents. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, my man. Uh, I said yesterday. Um, I think I think I said yesterday. Um, one that I think is about to explode again is inject is injective. I think injective is about to explode again. Um, for anyone who is looking to add into a coin, I'm not full transparency. Like I said, for all the noobs out there, um, for anyone who's just getting to the market now, I'm not buying any more crypto. I, I I've 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 done my wipe off accumulation. <laughs> <laughs> but like if you're looking to add a coin and it's it's very hard to find a coin to add at the moment they're all up but i think injective is one uh to look at from strictly from a from a basis of it, it's been, it's been very consistent with its moves right you get big moves up sideways consolidation big move up sideways consolidation big move up sideways consolidation um i think injective is about to get the, the next rally it's been going sideways for three months I think this one is one that if you missed out on this first wave or you missed out on the second wave, um, I think the third wave is coming pretty, pretty soon here. Uh, I think injective is one to add uh, if you're not already in it, right? I think we're going to we're look at a little bull flag target. Sounds sounds super bullish and crazy, but uh, this one has been crazy, this whole this whole bull so far. So the, the, the bull flag target would put it at $223. Call me a moon boy. I, I would not be surprised to see it go up there. So I, I think I think Fat is an interesting one. <clears throat> uh, later, Doge is going up. Oh shit! I'm ready for the Doge round too, man. I, I want the I want the meme coin running. <laughs> that was fun when all the meme coins were pumping. Like I said, guys, the meme coins pumping is not a top signal anymore. It's not. It, it's a it's actually a bullish signal. <laughs> It, mean, it means that people are willing to risk. <laughs> it's actually kind of a bullish signal. I would love if Doge starts going up again here. I would prefer if Bitcoin break. I, I want Bitcoin to break all-time highs first. You know? Um, I would prefer if Bitcoin breaks all-time highs first. Just to get it out of the way. But, you know, let's get it rolling again. I, I would love to see Pepe, Doge, Sheeb. Bonk with all start to move up again. That would be dope. But yeah, it looks like most things um most things are starting the day off green. As Bitcoin start the day off green here. <clears throat> Iron Mike. Um shout out to Iron Mike. GPU. Yeah, I'm in GPU, man. I'm in I'm in GPU, man. <clears throat> oh man. You know you know what the funny thing is, is like once we get to this part of the market, it it's it's almost like um we're, I think I think what we're waiting for right now is like <laughs> it's almost like um you get through that part of the market where you're, where you're just you're buying stuff, you're buying stuff, you're buying stuff, and then once you're done buying stuff, you're kind of just like you kind of get bored a little bit, <laughs> waiting for the pumps, right? So, 
I think that's kind of where I'm at and probably a lot where a lot of you guys are at. It's like, come on, man. Come on, BTC. Let's go. We, we, we want the real pumps, man. Come on. Break all type highs. Break all type highs, man. We, I, I know it's going to do it. I know it's going to do it. Uh, it's only a matter of time. Ah, man. Anyways. <clears throat> Let's see. Euphoria. Anyone who's saying Euphoria, bro. Any, people have been saying Euphoria since Bitcoin was at 45K. Right? People were saying Euphoria here and here and here and here and here. If, if you weren't here, when I hear people saying that the market is euphoric, people don't know what euphoric is in crypto. And, and I, I don't want to hear euphoric because euphoric in crypto is very different than other markets. Euphoric in crypto, I, I want to make this clear. Okay. And we, we looked at this yesterday. I still don't think people are... are really remember what ha what happens when bitcoin breaks all-time highs historically I don't, I don't think people remember i think people are honestly blind to what typically happens when bitcoin breaks all-time highs to all coins that's euphoria this ain't euphoria bro this is this is like if we look at the market cycle cheat sheet i think we're i think we're in i think we're going into belief I think we jet we we were in the optimism phase when when I'd say a couple weeks ago, right? Where people are like, okay, this rally is real, right? Because before that, like think about it, just during the ETFs in January, people are like, buy the rumors, sell the news, that the the ETFs are gonna be the top, right? You had all these clowns saying the ETF was gonna be the top, right? Great depression's gonna start, right? All this shit. Um now, once we got through that, we entered optimism, where I think people started to accept, okay, this rally is real. This rally is real. This is, this is happening. We're in this shit. I think we're entering belief where now you're going to start to, you're starting to see people say, okay, it's time to get fully invested. It, 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 it's time. It's time to get fully invested. <laughs> okay. That's where I think we are right now is belief. Okay. I think we're past optimism or belief. Euphoria is when even the noobs who get in late are saying, I'm a genius, we're all going to be rich. You don't have the people who just got into the market say, I'm a genius, we're going to all going to be rich at the moment. You have the people who were in crypto during the bear saying that, <laughs> but not the people who just got into the market, right? <coughs> There's a big difference. People look at this and think of people who were in crypto already. No, we, we, were, the, we were the whales buying during the depression phase, okay? Euphoria is when Joe Schmo down the street is saying he's a genius. He's a, we're all going to be rich. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think we're at that phase yet. Okay. Um, I don't think we're at that phase yet. It's not even that I don't think we're at. I know we're not at that phase yet. So that's that. The normies are not yet convinced. You think belief? Yeah. <clears throat> mm. Let's see. Poff said ascending channel looks like 71k is coming. Yeah, like like I said, I, I think we're gonna see this. This this is what I said yesterday. Uh, I think we're, when we were right here yesterday, I said I think we're gonna see something like this. I think we're gonna see Bitcoin go up, actually break that high, right, and then actually get a rejection back in. This is gonna trick a lot of people, and then I think we're gonna see is just another higher low, right? This, this is what Bitcoin has done the whole way up. It's tricked people into thinking, oh my God, swing fail, <laughs> right? How many swing fails? How, how many sweeps? <laughs> I think we're actually going to see Bitcoin come up, hit here, somewhere in this region. It could go a little bit higher. Um, and then actually pull back again, make make a higher low somewhere in here, wherever it is. It could, it could come back down a little bit lower than this, right? And then get the breakthrough. Right, I think we're gonna see something like this. this. This is what I put yesterday. So far, so good. This is what I think we're gonna see. I think we're gonna break the highs, get people to foam along again, wreck them one more time, 
right? Get people to be bearish. People are going to start shorting because the because the sweep, the sweep. <laughs> and then we go again. It's actually what we did last cycle. Look, look, look at this. I'll show you. Look at 2020 when we were at all-time highs. Actually, let me just go over here. This is easier. Look at look at this price action, right? Look at it. It's exactly what we're doing now, right? Look at this. All right, so Bitcoin comes up right to this all-time high level, 19,500, right? Boop, gets rejection, first rejection. Big dump, just like we just saw. Comes back up, actually breaks it. You get one more move down, okay? You just say, swing fail, swing fail, <laughs> sweep, <laughs> right? Then you make a higher low, and then you're off to the races. So I, 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 think, I think we're going to see something like that, which would just be perfect. I actually think all coins would still perform well in that situation. Boop, 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 boop. Going back over, going back over, going, going back, going back, going back. Boop. But that's just a guess. Seventy-one k, then back to sixty-five k. Hoffs. You, 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 you. I got the Hoffs confluence. <laughs> you already know. Um. Uh, INJ fifty dollars soon. I agree. I agree, man. I, I I definitely agree. I think I I really don't think. I still think people are a little bit hesitant, honestly. And I I have been very clear. I've been one of the only people, and this is not tooting my own horn, but I've been one of the only people screaming that a couple weeks ago was the last chance to accumulate alts. People were too scared to say it. I, I screaming that alts were gonna absolutely start start to moon. Okay. Because I think people still had the bear market mindset. They were scared of being wrong by saying that. Okay, I'm still saying, I think alts are going to continue to move. Continue to move. I, I don't think we've seen anything yet. I, I still think people are way too hesitant. Which tell I still think people have money. Uh, there's still a shitload of money on the sidelines. <laughs> like a shitload. Because I think people are still too hesitant. People, people forget what a crypto bull market is like. And they're about to be reminded of it. And early buyers will get the fruits of the labor. Late buyers will be exit liquidity. Early buyers will get the fruits of the labor. I still don't think people are bullish enough. I, I, I think people are bullish. I don't think people are bullish enough. If you get what I'm saying. You know, I still don't think people are bullish enough. Uh, <clears throat> Knuckle Buster. Shout out to you. Let's see. Um, Whale Talk said, "When inverse link curse? <sighs> Link's Link's been uh, Link's been chilling, man. Link has been chilling right here for quite a bit. Mm. Do you think BTC will be eighty k by the new half of the Bitcoin?" 80k by the half. I don't know. I don't. I have no clue, man. I'm not gonna sit here and act like I know. <laughs> I, I don't know any, where Bitcoin's gonna be in the short term. I'm not a short term trader. All the short term traders have been so wrong. Do not listen to any short term trader. Every short term trader has been so wrong on the way up. Do not listen to any short term trader. I'm not a short term trader. Okay. All the short term traders will get you to sell every single resistance level, man. It, do not listen to the short term traders, man. I'm not a short-term trader, okay? Most of the short-term traders really don't know what they're talking about, to be quite honest. Once again, I'm not a short-term trader. And, and I'm willing to admit that. I, most people won't admit that. That's the thing. Because they got, they, got, they got the trading group, <laughs> right? Most people won't admit that, right? I have no idea what's going to happen next for Bitcoin, okay? No clue. All I can say is we have the previous cycles to look off of. And that, that's, that's been the correct way to look at the market, honestly. The correct way to look at the market has been looking at previous cycles, how it's performed, and that's what's worked so far. Not, you're, not the fancy TA. The fancy TA has been wrong. Okay? So I, I'm just being real. It's been wrong, man. Um... I hold ETC will pump higher than ETH. ETC? 
Um, ETC will pump higher than ETH. I mean, in theory, it should. It's a, it's a smaller cap coin. Um, <laughs> Autistic said, I'm a short-term trader and never wrong. <laughs> Shout out to Autistic, man. Autistic is a short-term trader and never wrong. He's 100% hit rate. Oh, Lord. <clears throat> uh, Trent, fuck not. <laughs> We need some sock, some sock eating bets. <laughs> no more sock eating bets, man. I, I, that was another lesson I learned. <laughs> no more sock eating bets. If I do a sock eating bet, I'm gonna eat that sock, bro. <laughs> That's just karma coming for me. I'm, I, I'm, I'm gonna eat that sock. <laughs> That's funny, man. That's funny. Do you think it's still a good time to buy into the market right now? No. And and everyone has it's about perspective right obviously if you're just coming to the market now you have to choose if it's a good time to buy or not okay and for my situation i'm not buying any more crypto okay it doesn't mean you shouldn't you should do whatever you need to do like because the, the problem is if you're not already in the market you have to make the decision to buy or not here okay now I think altcoins are going higher, and I also think Bitcoin's going higher. Okay. You you need you need to make whatever decision you need to do. For me, I'm not buying any more crypto, just because I think. And and, and, and like I said, this is totally a mental thing for me. I know myself. Okay, I need to switch gears. I, I, I I'm a I'm a person who's very focused on one thing. So if, if I'm still in accumulation mode, I'm still in accumulation mode. My goal is to accumulate as much crypto as possible. Okay. That was my goal for the past year is to accumulate as much crypto as possible. Okay. Work my ass off, get as much fiat as I can to buy as much crypto as I possibly can to make as much money as possible during this bull market. Okay. And I hit my goal. I did. Perfect. Okay. But for me, I need to switch because like I said, I'm a very I'm a very structured person. I, I I need to now switch gears into looking now when to take profits and when to sell. Now, someone who's just coming into the market now, you you can't really think that way because you're not in the market, right? Um, and that that's what makes it tough. And that's why I I know it's kind of like hindsight and like oh my god, you should have been in the market before. But that's why. Just, just, just for, just for like going in forward, like you need to get into markets when no one's interested in them. It's much more difficult now to find entries, you know, because I, I just don't think you're going to get any more significant pullbacks. I, I, I don't think you're going to be getting like pullbacks back to anywhere near the lows. Um, it's just much, and the cop out answer is wait for a pullback. But I know, and I've been in the space long enough to know. You might not get a pullback. Things might pump 50% higher before they get a pullback. <laughs> you know what I mean? Things might 2x before they get a pullback. You know? Um, so you 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 got to you got to make that decision for yourself, man. Um, now it's 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 about something different. Total 3 is pumping. Dude, Total 3 is Total 3 is going to keep pumping, man. Total 3 is going to keep pumping, man. I see shit is going off right now. Pepe up 10% in the new day. Oh my God, yes. Finally, PYR. Thank you. Thank you from the heavens. I've been waiting for you to wake up. I've been waiting for the gaming tokens to wake up. We had the AI run. Now can we get the gaming run? I've been waiting. Uh, man, I, I want the gaming run, man. I want to see Vulcan Forge, Shrap, um, freaking, what else do we got? Ferocity. I want to see these things start ripping, man. <laughs> but, uh, no, nah, not it. I, I think, I think, I think we got, I just coomed. I coomed, Beth. <laughs> um, I think we got, I think we got good times to come, guys.
It's just patience now. <laughs> Jerome will continue to buy FOMO. I think I've, I've bought the most FOMO. I mean, I should buy the most FOMO. I've bought the most FOMO on anyone. I don't know which one's me. I think this one's me. I think this one's me. I got no free tokens and I bought the most FOMO, which I, I guess makes the most sense. I think me and Clint have bought the most FOMO. I think Hoffs, Hoffs might be number three. <laughs> I, think, I think me, Clinton, Hoffs. This is better than when SBF bought cummies. Yeah. It is better than when SBF caught cummies. <laughs> cummies, man. Dude, I was... Cummies is still one of my biggest regrets from last bowl. Like, I was so close to buying cummies at that low, and cummies did like 100x. Oh, my God. I should have bought Cum Rocket, man. I knew it, man. It was such a it was such an obvious play, man. Cum Rocket, you got to know people were going to pump that. That's why, like... Eventually, they're going to pump pussy, man. Eventually, they're going to pump the pussy. Um, you know you know what's a sleeper one do is Gensler, man. So, if something ever happens with Gensler, like if Gensler ever gets fired, like I, I got a bag of Gensler just in case. If something ever happens with Gensler and he gets fired, bro, this shit is going to rock it. I'm waiting for that day. I'm waiting for that day, man. I, 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 I don't care how long this takes. I don't care... If this, this little bag turns into dust, I will be holding Gensler into the day that he gets fired and this shit is gonna rock it. Yes. That's what I'm waiting for. GPU dump today. It was it was actually still green. It was um it actually closed green today. But yeah, a little bit up and down today. Nothing crazy. Nothing crazy. Uh, Hoff said I bought every night. <laughs> I'm about to throw 300 a horse guy, so I'll be number four. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Franco. He's about to throw 300 a horse guy. I mean, we're, we're coming to support. I mean, you see the ascending triangle on this shit? <laughs> Do you see the ascending triangle? One, two, three. Oh my God, yes. Hopefully it correlates with Bitcoin breaking all time highs. That, that would be dope. Um, uh, all right, guys. All right. Cycle Pearl said, what are your take on NKN? Still below 15 cents. If it's low, I mean, any old coin that's low, I think I think it's a good buy. If you can find any old coin that's still low, it's going to it's gonna pump just because it's low. Yeah, that's Wyckoff. Dude, this is Wyckoff accumulation. <laughs> this is the SOS phase right here. Get ready for the most fun phase. You still could chop around for a little bit, but from this point, I expect the most fun phase, which is up. Easy, man. One, two, three hits to the low. Breakout, retest. Let me zoom in a little bit. All right. Breakout, retest once, retest twice. Like this one, this one's going to rock it up. It, 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 it's wake off accumulation <laughs> but yeah i think it looks good um knuckle buster what's up man good good evening boss thank you for always to being real and helping your community succeed let's go knuckle buster man like i said um i i i i want you guys not to get mad at me um and you guys promised you wouldn't get mad at me right you we you guys promised and and, and I think I think what Knuckle Buster is saying is good. I think you guys promised to not get mad at me when we start talking about top signals <laughs> as the market moves up. <laughs> no one likes to talk about top signals. <laughs> Honestly, I used to be like that, right? When you when you when you're in the market, you don't want you don't like talking about top signals. That's not fun. Um, but you know, it, it's something that we need to do. Okay. Um, so, anyways. Guys, I think I'm going to call it a day. Um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Um, thank you guys for coming and hanging out. Um, not much happening right now. Bitcoin kind of just chopping. Some altcoins going up, some altcoins going down. But based on total three, I think altcoins in general continue to move up. Nothing really crazy to say other than that. I think I think we're, we're just in kind of sit back, 
watch the fun and, and, and let it play out, right? As, as you, now you got the, 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 the new market participants and daring. And, and uh, if you look at last cycles, when, when this started to go parabolic, um, that was basically the most fun part of the market. That's when um, <laughs> you saw that the most gains is when uh, you saw this start to freaking go nuts, right? Boom, right? 2021, boom. Now you're starting to see this go up. So um, yeah, man, chill out. Let's do our thing and I'll catch you guys tomorrow, all right? Take care, much love and catch you guys tomorrow. Peace. <laughs> Later. <laughs> let's salute. Let's salute and come. <laughs> and Jay is mooning. Let him come. He's almost there. <laughs> INJ up three percent. <laughs> <laughs> See it later guys.